everyone, Kalena Price here to talk about hooping because today is November 11th, 2011, which means it's World Hoop Day and hoopers across the globe are getting the word out about hoop dance. Now, if you follow me on any of my social network sites you, or you've read the, my bio in the back of my books, you probably know that I'm an avid hooper and have seen videos and photos of me doing things like hooping on fi with fire. What you probably don't realize is that I've only been hooping a couple years, and I couldn't even hoop when I was a kid. Um, I was one of those kids that, yeah, I just didn't get it. So if I can do it, anybody can do it. The question is, why do I do it? Well, a couple years ago, a friend brought back hooping from Dragon Con, made everyone hoops, and uh, kind of dragged us into it. And at first I was doing it just for the social aspect because, you know, I got to hang out with my friends for a couple hours, a couple times a week. And then I realized, hey, this is really good health benefits. And after doing some research, I found out if you hoop hardcore, like really push yourself, you actually burn almost as many calories as running. And it's completely low impact. And it's a whole lot of fun. Hooping is more than just, you know, what you remember from a kid where everyone hooped on their waist. You can hoop everywhere on your body, off the body, with your hands, there are all kinds of fun tricks out there. There are lots of videos out there if you uh, have never hooped before and, you know, don't really have anyone to learn from in person yet. Lots of videos out there on the web. There are classes that are web-based. There are all kinds of retreats and organizations and I mean the Hooper community is really interconnected and really giving and they want you to succeed and they want you to come have fun with them. So that said, I'll go ahead and get you started with uh, waist hooping in case you've never, never done it before. But before that, we need to talk about hoops. The hoops you see at Walmart are about this size typically, and they're made for children. They're really very small. They're definitely hoopable, but when you're first starting out, this is really hard. Uh, people have a tendency to think smaller hoops are easier, but that's actually the opposite um, of the truth. Smaller hoops are a lot harder because you have less room to work with, less opening um, for tricks, and you have to move a lot faster. What you really want for your first hoop is a hoop that hits somewhere between, you know, your belly button and the middle of your rib cage. That's typically a great size to get started with. So, bigger hoop, better. Thicker and heavier, easier to use. It's all about physics, pivot points, and, you know, movement. Now, I'm going to switch down to this hoop. When you're, uh, when you're hooping, there are a couple different ways to start out if you've never waist hooped before. You put one foot in front of the other and rock back and forth. You can put your feet out about just a little over hip distance apart and do side to side, or you can make full round motion. Whatever feels most natural to you, there is no wrong way to hoop as long as you're doing it and having fun. So. However you choose to stand and start out, the most important thing is for the hoop to be along your back. If it's out here when you go to throw it, it's going to go all over the place and uh, it's going to hit the ground pretty fast. So make sure your hoop's touching your back and then just give it a little toss and then just move with it. You want to make sure that you feel the hoop touching you all the way around your body and that's it. You just practice and go with it and it's a whole lot of fun so get out there and spread some hooping love all right claim price sign me up switch back